Uh, welcome everybody to a new video. So in this video we are going to be talking about a very important reaction which is called the azabitic reaction and this is going to be a very very short video in which we are going to discuss about what this reaction is all about and we are going to talk about the important examples of intramolecular reactions where you make 5, 6, 7 or 8 member heterocyclic rings and there have been one or two questions that have been asked in various entrance exams based on this concept. So this is exactly what we are going to look in this particular video. So if in a nutshell, if you ask what is azabitic reaction, normal bitic reaction, we clearly know that normal bitic reaction what you have is basically what you form is carbon carbon double bond. Okay, one side you have what you have? PPS3. Let us suppose this one, what you generate is a carbonyl and you react with a carbonyl, right? Carbonyl aldehyde or carbonyl and what you form is a carbon carbon double bond. Same cheese yaha par hai. Here instead of the carbon elide, this is the phosphor elide, but would generate is an azaelide. And final product hamara kya hota is an imine, which is also we call it the shift base. So basically, what do we do? We in this case, what do we do? We start from the azide. So this azide can be an alkyl azide or an aryl azide. Alkyl azide, jaise ki maal lijiye, this is or apka jo it could be this azide as well. Okay. Or it could be aromatic azide as well. So you can have various possibilities of azides here. So when you treat them with triphenyl phosphine, what do you basically form is an aza elide. So this elite elide can also be written like this one. And when you treat it with the aldehyde or ketone, what do you form is an imine, right? So reaction again, what straightforward reaction is? Or is reaction ka jo first step is aza elide? How, why does it form? Because the driving force of the, the formation of this azazelite is the elimination of a nitrogen. Okay. okay. So we can write this azides as this one. Okay. So we can write it like this one. So what happens in the first step? The triphenyl phosphine, what it does, it is going to attack this nitrogen. So the electron is going to move in these directions. So you have a negative charge of nitrogen. And what you have is a nitrogen. What you have is a double bond. And what you have is a PPH3. So here there are two things that are possible. Just like in the case of normal vitric olefination, but what we have is an oxo as a phosphorine ring. Here that type of a transition system can form between the negative charge and the uh, positive charge of the phosphine. So but you can have something like this one. The phosphine, PPH3, and you have this nitrogen, this nitrogen, and this nitrogen. So this type of a transition system you can have. So here what is happening is basically these this bond moves here, this bond moves here. So basically what you get is the elide. And in return, what you are forming is releasing is a nitrogen gas. So for this is a elide to take place. It is the release of this nitrogen gas that drives the reaction into the forward direction. And <laughs> again, I'm going to repeat this again as well. Whenever you say see neutral molecules getting out of the system, it's always an exothermic process and it, it drives the reaction into the forward direction. Things like ammonia, CO2, water and uh, carbon monoxide. Whenever you have these neutral gases ejecting out of the system, they always drive the reaction into the forward direction. Because these are neutral molecules, they, its reversibility is then not possible. Once the product is formed, it is product is formed. Okay. So that, that is what drives the reaction into the forward direction. Apart from that, if you see logic, you could have also, also said the negative charge of nitrogen attacks this one. So this electron moves here and this one moves here. So the nitrogen also leaves to give you the azide. And then it attacks the carbonyl via normal, just like your vitriol definition. It just, it's a normal reaction mechanism. As I said, this is nothing but an, is an elide, right? So negative charge, it attacks the carbon of the carbonyl because it is electrophilic in nature, R1, R2, and here you have O minus, nitrogen, PPH3, and you have an R group. Again, just like in the case of the vitriol olefination, the driving force for the reaction is the formation of strong phosphorus oxygen bond. This bond is so strong that it drives the reaction in the forward direction. Then you have a phosphine oxide. Hota hai. So here the same thing is going to happen. What you are going to form is a phosphidane. Exactly the same thing. Aapka kya ye hai, ye hai. So what you form is a shift base and imine. Pretty straightforward reaction. Hai. Now what we are going to look at. Just like before that. 
इस रिएक्शन की द मैक्सिमम यूटिलिटी फॉर दिस रिएक्शन इज बेसिकली इन द सिंथेसिस ऑफ सिक्स और सेवन मेंबर हाइड्रोसाइकिल लेट अस सपोज व्हाट यू हैव इज इन योर हाइड्रोसाइक्लिक सिस्टम यू हैव समवेयर यू हैव अ कीटोन हियर राइट समवेयर लेट अस सपोज कुछ चेन चेन लेंथ एंड हियर व्हाट यू हैव इज एन एजाइड लेट अस सपोज अगर आप इंट्रा मॉलिक्युलरली व्हाट यू वांट टू फॉर्म इज दिस पर्टिकुलर इमीन करके इस तरह से If this is what you want to form, then Aza Wittig reaction is probably one of the most important reaction which can give access to such amines. Or, its benefit is that what you can do is basically you can functionalize this amine further. Amine further. If you can reduce it, then what you will generate is an amine. Amine can functionalize it. So, this is a very very important reaction uh, that is Wittig olefination reaction. So, now we are going to look at the certain examples of. इंट्रामोलिकुलर विटिक रिएक्शन ठीक है इज अटिक रिएक्शन शुड आई शैल से उसके अलावा पहले एक छोटा देख लेते हैं वट आर दर फंक्शनल ग्रुप अपार्ट फ्रॉम द कार्बोन जिसके साथ दीज एजाबिक रिएक्ट एंड वट आर द प्रोडक्ट ताकि आपको इनकेस अगर आप एग्जाम के अंदर इफ यू सी दो इलेक्ट्रोफाइल्स राधर देन दी कार्बोन देन यू शुड नो वट इज गोइंग टू बी द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट सो नॉट लेट्स लुक एट दैट सो हेयर आर दी जेनरल रिएक्शन दैट दीज बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है फॉर यू गाइज टू जस्ट लुक एट दिस पर्टिकुलर रिएक्शन स्कीम सो इफ यू एवर इलाइट लेट अस सपोज इफ यू क्वेंच इट विद द वॉटर वट यू जनरेट इज एन आई मीन एंड दिस वी नो इज अ वेल नोन रिएक्शन कॉल्ड स्टॉडिंग रिएक्शन अगर इसको लॉजिकली सिंपली देखा जाए इफ यू जस्ट ड्रॉ द मैकेजम ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन बट वी हैव इज दिस वन एंड वट यू आर डूइंग इज बेसिकली क्वेंचिंग इट विद Water. So what is happening is basically simply this is taking up the proton and this is undergoing hydrolysis to give you the amine. This is exactly what is happening. Let us suppose if you treat the isocyanate, if you treat it with the isocyanate. ठीक है? अगर आप ऐसा बटिक का reaction isocyanate से कर रहे हैं, so what you form is the carbodiamide. अब हमने carbodiamide के बारे में हमें पता है, where are they useful? These are nothing but these are the peptide coupling agents. Peptide. Coupling agents and the reason why this reaction is very very important is because in exam, let us suppose you could be uh, you could be shown here. Let us suppose uh, let me give you this one, nitrogen and this one. Okay, or यहाँ पर आपको it could be given like let us suppose you could be given this one. ठीक है? They could give you these two. What is going to be the reaction product of this two? And you should know what is the reaction product of these two. The reaction product of these two is nothing but DCC. जो हमने पढ़ा हुआ है, this is going to be the product of the reaction. Nitrogen C, nitrogen C, और ये हमने पढ़ा हुआ है, ठीक है? But हमको पता नहीं है कि ये बनाया कैसे जाता है। So this is one of the ways by which we can make this coupling reagent. And then they can just Forward that let us suppose कि आपको ये दोनों दिया DCC दिखाया उसके बाद they might be showing you an acid or plus an amine and they must be asking you what is going to be the desired product so that you guys don't get confused you should know how the azabetic reacts with the isocyanate to give you the carbonyldehyde reaction mechanism again pretty straightforward और बहुत simple है again this one PPS three and here what you have is an isocyanate ठीक है, so what is going to be take place? So the nitrogen is going to attack the carbonyl, carbon R dash, and we are going to have a nitrogen here. Again, which scenario have you generated? Basically, यहाँ पर क्या हो रहा है? आपका oxoacetone हो रहा है, and the same thing, this moves here, this moves here, but you going to get is a carbonyldehyde, and here triphenyl phosphoxide, phosphoxide is released. So mechanism is pretty straightforward, and that is how you get it. Same mechanism यहाँ पर है. What you have is a carbon disulfide here. Okay, so this R n minus PPS three plus this is going to attack the carbonyl. So what you form is this one. So you have R this PPS three and this carbon double bond S S minus. So instead of your oxygen phosphorus oxygen here, you are you are going to have is a phosphorus sulfur. Phosphorus sulfur double bond is also a reasonable strong double bond here. What you are going to form is a oxaphosphide. उसके बाद आपका this moves. And it is going to release what you are going to get is the isothiocyanate. Similarly, when elite reacts with the carbon dioxide, what you form is an isocyanate. And when you treat them with an epoxide, what you get is an azidine. So these are some of the very important reactions of azylides, and you should definitely know that these reactions because 
I I feel that in the coming exams they are going to be question based on not the traditional intramolecular azabetic, but it could be based on some of the other reactions that I have discussed here. ठीक है? Now let us just talk about the normal azabetic reaction, जिसके बारे में वीडियो है. Now let us look at the examples of azabetic reactions. Suppose what we have is the CBZ protected amine and having an an alkyl azide group. So the first step is the treatment with the triphenylphosphine. So we clearly know that what we are forming here is this one and PPH3, right? So in the first step, this is what we are getting is the formation of azide. Dusra aldehyde se treat kiya, aldehyde se treat kiya, to we clearly know what is going to be the product. It is going to be the imine formation here, right? So this is what we are going to get. Third step pe kya sodium borohydride. So this is nothing but the reduction of the so this is the final product. Pretty straightforward problem. Hai. What we have is the next one is a thalic anhydride. Usko apne what you have done is a treatment with the azabetic olefination. So when you see such reactions, the product that you are going to get is the thalamide product. Okay. So this is what you are going to get. This is a very very important reaction. Uske baad a jate hain hum is on the example which is, I feel is probably one of the most important example of intramolecular azabetic olefination. So what you have is a Aromatic azide, this molecule, sorry, this is nothing but a phenyl group, and you are treating with tributyl phosphine. So, this is tributyl phosphine. Sometimes, actually, you will see a lot of reaction that people use triphenyl phosphine, sometimes tributyl phosphine. Tributyl phosphine, kya hai aapka? it is more reactive as compared to triphenyl phosphine. Now, dusra kya hai ki? Iska jo triphenyl phosphine oxide banta hai in the case of tributyl phosphine, it is much easier to get rid of as compared to triphenyl. Phosphine. Okay, so that is there are several advantages of using triodyl phosphine. So probably that is the reason why they used it. So they are what they are showing is after the treatment they have got this intermediate. Intermediate was exposed to TFA water and THF mixture. मतलब THF water TFA acidic condition exposed किया but they got is a B. Compound B was treated with KHMDS which is a base followed by treatment with an acid aromatic acid chloride having an azide group to get give C. C को आपने triodyl phosphine of phosphine से treat किया और they got is a tolerate. Let us see ki kya ho raha hoga. So what we have is an aromatic azide and what we have is a tributyl phosphine. Now we have to look at the function function. This is an amide. I don't think it is going to react with tributyl phosphine in any way. And esters do not react as well. And we know that azide, they can react with tributyl phosphine. And if you react with it, so what is it going to give you? So what you are going to have is this an ME and phenyl here and what you have is an OME here, and this is what we are going to form P BU3 positive. So, okay, so this is the E light that we are going to form. Or in the process of this formation, we know that the nitrogen is getting released, which is a driving force for the reaction. So, this is something that I recommend students while writing mechanism write all the byproducts that are forming in the reaction because that could be useful later on. But yeah, how it is nitrogen gas which is just uh, releasing. Now what you have is a nitrogen elide. Let us look at what are the electrophilic species that are present in the molecule. What, what we have is an imide, imide. And we know that pretty stubborn uh, electrophiles and do not undergo uh, uh, addition on them. But it can attack the ester that is present. Okay? Ester ke upar attack here. What you form is this one. Let us suppose, let us see what is happening here. And what you get is this. And methyl. And we have this. PH and we get this O minus here, OME here, and this nitrogen which has attack, and what you have is a triphenyl, tributyl phosphine, right? Positive. So basically, if you have seen, what we have formed is the, again an uh, oxy phosphorylated type situation here, where you have formed this bond form, ho. and the next step is the elimination of tributyl phosphine oxide. Okay, elimination of this one, and what will happen? Yeah, you have oxygen, you have your phosphorus, hua. so this will come, this will go here. So what you have basically formed is an imine. You have formed an imine bar hai, hai, hai? This is something that I am going to write. How many membered rings have you here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what we have formed is a civil zavon membered ring with an imine. Let's just write that straight away. So your imine has become. So this is what we are getting, a seven membered imine. And ME, this one, 
we have is a nitrogen we have this double bond double bond is our ome tha and then we have this one so this is what we get right so this is the a this is the intermediate that we get because this is nothing but jis tarah se hamara enol ethers hota hai this is the kind of an enol ether aur jaise hum isko under acidic condition expose karte hain we clearly know that this is nothing but enol ether so this is undergoing undergoing go hydrolysis ab ka aapka hydrolysis hoga to what you are going to form is an oh and this is undergoing going to go enolization so what we are going to form is this amide here theek hai so this is going to be the b नाइट्रोजन के साथ वी हैव दिस हाइड्रोजन दैट इज प्रेजेंट सो दिस इज दिक प्रोडोन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी प्लग आपने एसिड क्लोराइड के साथ ट्रीट किया सो दिस नेगेटिव चार्ज इज गोइंग टू अटैक दी कार्बोन सो बेसिकली वट यूर फॉर्मिंग इज दी दिस वन ठीक है बट यूर फॉर्मिंग इज एन एम आई बॉन्ड एंड बट यूर इज एन एन थ्री ग्रुप हेयर दिस इज योर सी अब आप लास्ट स्टेप में क्या कर रहे हैं आप ट्राइफेल फॉस्फिन के साथ ट्रीट कर रहे हैं टॉलोइन सो बेसिकली वट यू आर डूइंग Here, what you have is an azide, and here, what you have is a carbonyl. So, as he, you are this, this expose, what you are forming is basically the intramolecular cyclization. So, basically, what you get is the this product. So, this is the final product that you get after the entire sequence, and this is a very, very important reaction where it comes to exams point of view. Okay. Now, after that, last example, let's take the intramolecular cyclization. Ka. Let us look at this example, and I think this has example has already been asked in the NET exam. So, here, what we have is this. Fancy looking molecule where what we have is an azide group, aldehyde, and we have is an esteric group. यहाँ पर आपको question पूछा गया था जैसे कि in the previous example I have clearly shown that the reaction takes place with the ester as well. So when I expose this to triphenyl phosphine oxide, I know that what I am generating here is basically this elide, right? I am generating this one. Now now this elide has an option to react with the carbon, it has an option option to 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 react react with with the 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 carbon, We clearly know that the reactivity of aldehyde is far far higher as compared to the ester. तो reaction तो 100% आपका इसके साथ होगा ठीक है और reaction आपका ester के साथ नहीं होगा ठीक है So this is under going going to attack here, and this is what we are going to form. So basically, what we are going to form is an imine. And after that, we said that then we are treating with sodium chloride and methanol. So, which is our imine, we have to reduce it to amine. Bana diya. So, how does this studio chemistry come? Pretty easy, because this amine, this uh, nitrogen chloride, this is going from behind the plane. And of course, when we react with the aldehyde, so it is going to attack from the behind the plane. So, this means that one thing is clear here: this hydrogen is always coming out of the plane. and that is where it stays right aur isko hum is tarah se bhi likh sakte the there is absolutely no issue i can write this like this as well okay so this is the origin of stereochemistry in this case and it doesn't react with the ester because of the reactivity pattern agar yahan aldehyde nahi hota and then probably under the force condition it might have reacted with the ester okay chaya to usko bhi dekh lete ek do teen char panch chhe saat aath nau nine membered ring I think it's improbable. We know that the formation of higher mem higher membered rings are not thermodynamically favored. So that in any way would not have been favored. Okay. So that is why the reaction takes place at this position. So this was pretty much about the azotic reactions. And uh, if you have any questions, do write me in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Have a good day.